Hi everyone. Um, we have a Universal Yums box. This one is from Pakistan. I have it upside down, so I just almost dumped everything out. Okay, I oh <laughs> no, I turned, I turned it upside down again. Mm -hmm. It was not upside down. It was upside down. This one is kind of weird little box. Well, normally they don't put my address label on the front side. Welcome to Pakistan. Pakistan. Here's your book. Right. I see lots of chips. That's good. Don't tell me. So, put my name, your name, and our little co-host is asleep. They all passed out. Alright, we're going to start with... Curly's. Curly's potato crinkle chips. Merch masala? Spicy. Merch masala? No, it says spicy. Okay. Little ones are ketchup. Yeah. Okay. I think those are supposed to be the masala ones. Yeah. Those are masala. I don't think you'll like it, but I'm a little. That's my stinky. I'm going to get a little one. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to go ahead and get this order ready. You can wait. You can wait. Pretty sure that's masala. The yucky. You know that myself? I don't like. <coughs> well, you're yucky. Okay. Curly's potato crinkle chip ketchup. <laughs> but on that one, I'm going to put a yucky face. I like that. Very good. So you want a yummy? Yes. I like a lot of yummy. Okay. 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 Oh my god. The ketchup. I mean, I like ketchup with fries. Sometimes on a burger. Very rarely on a hot dog. I didn't know this. The first... Written use of the word ketchup was in 1690 from an Indian cookbook. It's yeah. like I just poured crunchy ketchup in my mouth. That's exactly what it tastes like. Why you, you have the past the two boxes failing me on chips? Do you not remember the Lay's ketchup flavor chips that we had? I never tried them because I said that's gross. I bet you said that's yum. It's all right, but. So yeah. It's, it's ketchup. I'm like middle of the road here. Okay. So next we're going to try. Some kind of mix. Nim Cola Mix Nemo Crispy and Crunchy Blend of Sev, 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 Peanuts, Chickpeas, and Spices. Great, because I don't like chickpeas at all. Oh, chickpeas. But Sev is not. Seed is not. Uh, special chickpea dough shredded in little tiny pieces and fried and mixed with a blend of spices, peanuts, and peas. This bag does not want to open. Apparently, this is like some sort of snack food that originated in the truck. It's good. It's very good. You taste the chickpea in the little crackers. It's like crunchy hummus, and it's awesome.
couple things that are okay in there. I need to taste them individually to find out what part I hated. Because I just got one of everything through my mouth. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. this little thing. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely one of the things that are middle of the row. There's this weird little three thing. That one's I think most of the crackers. There's this little twirly thing. Various types of chickpea crackers. This, I little, love chickpeas, cur so. this little curly thing's good. <clears throat> Can I just dig all the little curly things out and eat them and you eat the rest? <laughs> it's the peanut. It's okay. It's good. This is... Is this a... What is this? It's a pea. It's kind of like a Pakistani version of wasabi pea. Yeah. You know that? That must have been what killed it for me. They're very over crisp. It is a little rough. I like... I like these noodle looking things. Mm -hmm. Which is chickpea flour. And this. Peanut. I think that's a soybean. No, it's a peanut. It's it a says peanut? it has peanuts in oh. it. Okay. I don't like this either. Nope. Whatever that is. It's a chickpea cracker. I don't like that. But I like this one. They're all the same stuff. They're the seasoned differently. You know, different tastes. Okay. I see. I'm not. There are chili gummies in this one. I'm going to put a mm. Blucky on that one too. She You're... got me spicy Starburst the other day. Which are alright, but essentially they're just regular Starburst flavors with capsaicin on. Chews potato stick. And they are flavored like chapata. Chapata. It says chapata. Chat the cat's trying to eat me. She said, Dad, pay attention to her. She said she wants snacks. Be her snacks. She likes to put holes in people. I didn't want to inhale it. I inhaled the mm -hmm. the scent yeah. and dust out of these. So these are really thin. These are like they're sour and spicy. Shh, you're not supposed to tell me mm -hmm. anything. Actually, I should probably drink before I do that because my mouth is already a little spicy. Apparently, chapata is the descriptor in Pakistan for any food combination that's both sour and spicy. So I would probably order a lot of chapata items. On Pakistan, anyway. And there's a cat. She's not in the video yet. It Her shows buttons. it shows a lemon and a chili pepper. Yeah. So it's like chili lime. Seasoning. Um, these look like what are those ones? I'm actually may go buy me like some of those. Sticks. That's it. I may go buy me a can of these. Well, that's what they are. Full I mean. of carbs tomorrow on my break at lunch because that second half of work, you always need some carbs in there to get you through the rest of the night. Carbs or alcohol, depending on where you work. Okay. That wasn't the most disgusting thing I've ever put in my mouth. That was pretty bad. Oh, please send us somewhere good next month. Okay. She just wants to snack. None of the other kids are up, Dad. Pay attention she to her. She just stop sinking her claws into my exposed... But cleavage. I bet you said that's yum, didn't you? Oh. Or yeah. Yeah. It's a very strange balance of lemon and chili flavor. Let's try some cookies with mm -hmm. weird stuff in them. Cookies packed full of zero. Cumin. These are cumin cookies. Why do you hate me, it's, it's, Pakistan? It's like a Pakistani version of a Pfefferdurst, which is a German-style cookie that has, it's like a, it's almost like a gingerbread cookie, but it has black pepper in it. What? Like, anybody even knows what you're talking about. Everybody's they just do like, not. They're probably like, that guy knows too much for his own good. I'm fat. Because I he like reads the dictionary for fun. It wasn't, it was out of boredom, okay. 
That's a lot. It was good stuff. I had chicken pox as a child, and then I had books. I picked up the dictionary and finished it in two days. For fun. That's what I was telling. The first thing I was ever told about you. Yeah. You read the dictionary for fun. Very first thing I was ever told about him. <laughs> and I married him. What's wrong with me? Let's see. Got some small ones. Here's a bigger fool, a fool, and a fool of Fawzi. There's you a cookie. Oh, you can smell it. I don't want to smell it. I hate this box so much. I hate this box so much. They've not okay. sent me any chocolate. They've not sent me any good crunchy snacks that I like. They have sent me nothing. Don't say anything because I have not braved enough to take a bite. And his face tells me I don't want to. This is only because this is my YouTube channel. It's a chili cookie. Because cumin is what gives chili powder its distinctive flavor. Oh yes, because we always use cumin in our chili. Right. This is and this is like click for me. This is oh like a pecan sandy dipped in Hormel chili. <laughs> <coughs> I waited. It's right here. I taste chili powder. It's like I poured chili powder down my throat. I love the flavors that are in this individually, but Sorry, it is, this is a chili soaked cookie. It, it's straight up. Go to Waffle House, get you a waffle, cover it in chili, and eat it. And that's the flavor. And, you and get that would be, that would be better than this. What's well, the same flavor actually? But it would be better than this. What? Okay, someone from Pakistan, explain this to me. Why would you ever eat cookies that taste like cookies are supposed to be sweet and delicious? and crisp and I'm gonna have to go steal one of my kids cookies to get this taste out of my mouth. I'm gonna get the cat and get the cat's butt to get the taste Not gonna happen. Cat's right there. <laughs> Still not gonna happen. Here you go, some nasty chili cookies. Wait a minute. I did tell the people I worked with next time I got one of these some boxes of I was going to bring snacks for them. Well, now, I've already horrified Seth for some of the stuff out of these that you wouldn't eat, so. <gasps> and we are doing the big gaming thing Sunday night. Yeah, so uh, chili cookies, have at it. I'm bringing snacks, I'm bringing Very snacks. Very rarely do I take <laughs> one bite out of anything out of these boxes and just get rid of it, but cumin cookies, sorry. I should take all those, all those to. But I'll, I don't care. I, don't I already care. told the people at work, like, it's when so I start. Yes. Okay, we need to write yucky, 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 yeah. yucky, yucky on. There's more, okay. more milk candy. Yeah. Stop. Just stop reading ahead. Don't read what anything is. This is, this is you actually might like pop this. But the delicious and this is No, do not. No. No, 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 no. No, you don't say what anything is until after it's tasted because then I don't want to eat it. I said don't. I'm probably going to hate this when you love it. It looks very fluffy. It's a brick. <laughs> it doesn't sound very fluffy. It's in us a brick. It's because we put it in the fridge. We always put it in the fridge because if we don't know if there's chocolate in there. If there's chocolate in it, we want it to be really preserved because our mailbox is in there. It's in a little container. It's in a plastic container. Which means I may need a fork. It looks very weird and like it's got nuts and stuff in it. Powder out of it over there. That's seeds. Is that pumpkin seeds? That looks like maybe pistachios. There's no getting this out. It has pistachios. Okay, be quiet. There's no getting this out. So, you're going to have to go get some silverware. Okay. This is not going to come, oh, well. It's, like cotton candy. it's not going to come out like yeah. that because it flakes too easily. See, you're not going to get anything except flaky stuff. You just twist it. And... Right. It's not. I told you. 
I'm just gonna get flaky stuff. Oh wow, this is a very interesting. It is. It's like cotton candy with seeds and stuff embedded in. It's not. It's fluffy. It's not like it does not feel the same as cotton candy. Don't let him lie to you. Okay. If you really want me to be honest, with don't, you. don't. Just bite it first, then you can be honest. <laughs> you like? Do you not taste like cotton candy? I'm supposed to. This is the most delicious insulation I've ever eaten. Oh, spit it out! Oh, it already melted. I don't like it. This is actually a dairy product. I don't like it. It's not cotton candy. You lie. Don't ever read That's... ahead. You lie. You lie. Eat, eat, eat. I'm gonna take this to work with spoons. It's a huge mess, but I actually like that. It's like a. It's almost like kind of a floral it's like taste. It's like puke. Thing. Pistachio ice cream rendered down into fiberglass insulation. And I'm covered in it now. That's your own. Because it's this is the most friable food I've ever eaten. And what do you want? I say I say yum. Because this is really good. We're gonna try Chili Mini. Which is hot gummy candy. Oh, your pants. Oh, yeah, I'm covered. See, not cotton candy. Insulation. Edible insulation. Very delicious. You can drive your mouth up. That is the exact mouth feel. And they are candy shaped like they're, chili bears. They're chili gummies. And they're happy gummies. Happy chilies. They have a smiley face. You can't see it. They are smiling. And they smell like chili peppers. And I <laughs> I hate this box so much. I'm just like sinking further and further into depression the more of this crap that we try. Mm. They're still sweet. Okay, I see chocolate. Right. Chocolate and lemon. Rich chocolate biscuits with lemon cream. Now see, I like. So these are like Oreo lemons. They're, they're straight up Oreo knockoffs. Well, except the Oreo lemons, aren't they white cookies? Like the these vanilla? These are made with dark chocolate. They're very thin. Here's your cookie. Cheater, I didn't even get mine out. Why do you keep doing that this time? You never do that. See, I like lemon cream cookies, and I like chocolate. My cat's psychotic. It's killing the sock. Apparently, these are like a staple with Pakistani kids. I can see why. Good call, Pakistani kids. These cookies, so much better than these cookies. <laughs> And fudge, Candyland Sonic. Oh, good call on this in the fridge because you can tell this was melted before. This chocolate bar is specifically designed to not melt. Really? Because mm -hmm. it looks like it melted a little. Well, but you have to think. The temperature drops to like 77 degrees in the winter in Pakistan. It's got peanut in it.
not as good as I thought it was going to be. It's got a weird aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Take a bite, chew it, and right when you get to the end. Protein bar. Yes, that's it. Protein bar. Straight up, right off the, the shelf, Jim Bro. <gasps> Novita orange wafers. Mm. So it's like you know how they have the they have the chocolate wafers here, the vanilla mm -hmm. wafers, and the strawberry. Wa Ow! She got my foot. She just stuck her claws on the bottom of my foot. These are orange wafers. So you love orange, so you should love these. Hmm. These are made from a very specific type of orange too. That orange smell is so strong. Mm. I love that. Here's the problem. I don't taste orange at all. I just taste the cooking. I just taste it. Just tastes like. Just tastes like wafer. I get a very strong orange flavor from that. I do not. All I taste, maybe it's because you like orange so much you can taste it no matter what. Mm -hmm. But all I taste mm -hmm. as someone who is not like a big, you know, mm -hmm. citrusy, is, is just the wafery. It's a very dry cookie. I like that though. This is very good. I mean, on to the candy. Don't. I'm gonna take candy to work. It's just be like, whatever you do, guys, don't have this in your mouth when you put the VR helmet on. <laughs> have somebody scream Resident from Resident Evil and choke. We're gonna try this one. These are the ones I've been waiting on. These are lychee. And I love lychee. He likes leeches. It's mm. Candyland Juicer's lychee. Leeches. Lychee, not leeches. They are pink. And difficult to open. This is something I've noticed is a recurring theme in a lot of these, the packaging. That's pink? It's like bulletproof. Mm. 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 Like flower. Who wants to eat flowers? I want to eat food. I mean, Rod and Carrie can take care of some more. Never had that too before. Really. One of the Chinese places that we used to go to a lot had little hard lychee candies like this. That's the first place I ever tried them. They're really good. Am I right? I don't know. That's weird. Hand, hand soap. Oh, yeah, it tastes like soap. It, it tastes like. Floral hand soap smells. I'm scared because I'm getting to the middle of it. And I feel like it's gonna be like creamy or something in the middle. As long as it's not a milk candy, now I don't. The Japan box horrified me because I love the green tea candy until I bit into it and got that milk powder. It's creamy in the middle. Is it milk powder? Kill me. No. It's lychee flavored in the middle too. Okay. So. Okay. It got worse. I like that. I need to spit in your hand. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? So the trash can's all the way over there. Okay. okay. 
that's what was fun until I beat it. We're gonna try the milk toffee. Candyland milk toffee. Mm -hmm. Because he just complained about how much he hates milk candy. So outside oh outside looks like toffee. Oh, it's very soft. This is okay. It's a chewy candy. That's straight up an English toffee. It does not ruin it. Almost reminds me of a brown cow. Mm. But the middle is a little richer. That's traditional Ew. English toffee. You should no surprise. Really? Powerful punch. I didn't think so. I got it. But you couldn't taste the orange in the white fruits. I don't like this Pakistan box. Next time, if they're having Pakistan box, we're skipping it. Okay. Alright, so these are Candyland Charms. Black current. Not again. Didn't like we do a, this in a different box? There was yes, one last that month. I don't wanna. It's almost like a going. Mm. Not bad. I feel like it's gonna get worse in the middle because it's darker in the middle. Mine's darker the further down you go, but mm. it's good. It's almost got like a black raspberry flavor to it, which is essentially the flavor profile of black currant, just a little bit bitter. Okay. I wasn't making the one gag. Alright. Yep. Yum. What was the last one? The toffee? Mm -hmm. And neutral. I'm a big toffee fan. The one we just had that's in our mouth right now. Black currant, yum. And I like black currant jelly. Um. That first one. The lychee? Mm -hmm. Yum. That was good. So you liked everything. I hated everything. And I only liked those cookies. I see it. <laughs> Alright, I want to read it. That's trivia. Mm -hmm. Clue to next month's box. Do you like chocolate? Yes! Switzerland. Do you Waffles. Yes! How uh, about Belgium. fries? Yes! Then join us next month will be very, very wise. You might know this place best for its tiny statue of a boy, but soon the uh, association Holland. will be taste buds jumping for joy. Holland. Chocolate waffles and fries? How can we go wrong? Carbs, carbs, chocolate. You know, Holland has fish-based snack food, too. I hate you, Holland. I just wanted chocolate. Waffles and fries. Why you lie to me? Universal Yums. Get me excited about chocolate waffles I it, and I, fries. I think it's Holland that has the the statue of the, the little boy that put out the fire by peeing on it. Unless they're talking about the statue of the little boy with his finger in the back, which would be Netherlands. I don't know, and my phone is not here. Oh, there's my phone. Because we will Google it like we did last time when he was wrong. Yeah. No, I was right about Pakistan. It was, it was the one Korea before. that I was wrong. Yeah. I said Vietnam like an idiot. Tiny statue of a boy country. That may be Belgium. It says that when I do it, it brings up... That's too general a statement. You probably pulled up stuff from... Brussels. Belgium. Belgium. The statue of Mannequin Peace Boy. Yes. Okay. Did they do... Chocolate... Waffles, fries, <laughs> country. Belgium. Belgium. 
Too bad they won't send you that last one. And beer. beer. Yes. So, I feel like Belgium will be a very good country for me. Because there is Belgian. Belgian. Belgian chocolate. And I like Belgian. Belgians are obsessed with waffles, too. It's like a lot of their snack food is little waffly things. But, like I said, they even Don't. have fish-based alcohol. Belgium. Snacks. Snacks. It makes it sense. Belgium waffles, that does make sense. Belgium. Whatever. Look, waffle, french fries, chocolate. When I, feel I put like in I should snacks, make an Austin Powers joke here, but I'm not. See, it says, well, it says waffle, french fries, and chocolate. Literally, you put in Belgium snacks, and that's what it brings up. Waffles, french fries, and chocolate. And their snacks. Macaroons, almond thins. Look at these little chocolate waffles. Yes. They can send me chocolate waffles. I will eat. I will. I will eat the whole thing and not share. I'll be like, here you go, peace try. Pretty much, she just gets these boxes to try foreign chocolate and chips, and I get everything else. Where else am I going to get foreign chips? And cookies. She's falling in love with some of the cookies that we've got. Where else am I going to get that kind of stuff if I don't get this box? I looked at some other boxes, but they're crazy. We could get that one where we get like 40 snacks or 30 snacks, but it's like $40 a box. And then they want to ship it every week. I don't want to pay $40 every week for snacks. <laughs> That's about a fourth of what I pay for groceries. Alright, well that is it for this video. We will see you next month for Belgium. Belgium. I said Belgium. You keep saying Belgium as an adjective, which would be Belgian. And tomorrow I will have a video because we have the special Geek Chic Monthly Buffy the Vampire Slayer box. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's supposed to be awesome, and it had better be for what I paid for it. Buffy. And it had better be awesome. Look, there, there's only one thing I think Joss Whedon did right. Hey, I saw a post <clears throat> today. Uh -huh. Happy birthday, Firefly. Oh. Right. Happy birthday, Firefly. <laughs> All right. That is it for real this time. See you next time. I'll see you tomorrow. He'll see you in a month. Unless he gets in my way tomorrow. Probably not. Mm-hmm. <laughs>